said that, inshallah. Yeah, having said that, inshallah, we'll begin. Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Nawait wa ta'alimu wa ta'alim wa tadakru wa tadkira wa nafa wa lantifa wa al-ifadata wa al-istifada. Wal hata ala tamasuki bi kitab Allah wa sunnati rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa dua ila al-huda wa dalalat ala al-khair ittiba wa jhilla wa maradatihi wa qurbihi wa tawabihi. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So alhamdulillah, we're really happy to have everyone here. Um, we're going to be talking specifically about Sanat Prep Online. Um, and we also actually want to hear from you also. So I'll explain um, your role in today's meeting. It's actually very important. Um, Sister Lubna, Sister Adiola, hopefully, inshallah, I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, we do want to hear from you all. Um, obviously, you want to hear from us. So I'll share a little bit about um, you know, who we are and, and what we've been doing and, and what we hope to do um, going forward. And then I'll also uh, uh, kind of mention about how we really want to hear from you on some options that might be available to you, your family, and even those um, in your vicinity uh, and in your community. So, Bismillah. In any case, Alhamdulillah, you know, Sana Trust Foundation started now about 13 years ago. Um, I, I was started by myself and my wife, Sister Atika. She's on the meeting as well today. We started about 13 years ago. We both have um, unique backgrounds um, and graduate studies in either education, business, consulting, finance, and nonprofit management. Um, and the idea that we had was to uh, try to develop a, a new um, Islamic education model. And the idea back then, 13 years ago, is very, very novel, but it was essentially what's called now a blended learning model. And the way that we um, arrived at that model was because we had looked at, obviously, public school, private school. Uh, we looked at homeschooling options for our family, our children, and then um, even a pri private Islamic schools um, and private non-Islamic schools. Looking at all of those, you know, there wasn't a great fit for our, um, not not the needs that we had as a family, but mostly the goals that we had as a family. Um, and so we began to kind of brainstorm on some um, ideas that we could generate that would be new, unique, and and really address the, the main concern that we had for our children, which was to kind of preserve their fitra, preserve their good nature, and at the same time, help them realize their full potential in life, right? We didn't want to compromise on their spiritual development um, and or their um, professional or academic development either. And so alhamdulillah, I think that we came to a good place. We, 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 we found that um, the county allowed us to receive an accredited um, um, and in some cases kind of magnet gifted level uh, curriculum via the public school and that we could receive that curriculum online in our home and teach our son and, and now our daughter, mashallah, we could teach them from home and they would remain enrolled in the public school and we would be able to create the environment around them and add, you know, obviously the sacred sciences and extracurriculars and, and, and kind of the attention to detail, the attention to adab um, and all of these things. So that was initially what we were going to do. And what we what we realized is that there are many other families that wanted the same thing. And that this could potentially be scaled up in a way that, you know, could serve more than just, you know, our our, our two children. And so that's kind of the where Sanat Prep was born. And so fast forward now, 12 years later, alhamdulillah, the model is very, very effective. Um, and we're now, we've graduated students and now those students are graduating university. Um, and, and, uh, and, and, and now those students who are graduating university are now graduating, uh, getting employed as well. So alhamdulillah for all of that. This is again, uh, really focus on the on the ground work that we're doing here in South Florida. Uh, what I will call just Sanat Prep. And then I'm going to get into what Sanat Prep online is and what it can be as well. So Sanat Prep, and, and in many ways, Sanat Prep Online as well, uses the online curriculum from uh, the public schools in Florida. 
Um, we on the ground here have a facility where students come and we provide on the ground learning coach services to them. Um, we throughout the years have always had a call to action from communities outside of South Florida of bringing Sun Up Prep to their community. And we're actually working towards that. And we have actually done that already in some places. Um, so we have a small campus in um, Allentown, Pennsylvania right now, that's within um, uh, within the community of Sheikh Yahya Rodis and Al Makasid. We have a middle school and high school kind of campus there now operational for one year going into its second year. Um, we're in conversations with Princeton, New Jersey to start a Senate prep after school. And then there are some very early conversations with Fort Pierce, Florida, to have a Senate prep campus there in their community, probably for next fall. So what is Senate prep online? Senate prep online actually was an idea that we had very early on when we realized that anywhere where there is an internet connection, we could bring the Sun of Prep kind of environment and, um, and, and framework to a family, even if they don't live in South Florida. And, and that's kind of how that idea started. And then it went into action when our dear um, sister Sadia and her family moved to Tampa. They were in our community for many years. Her, all of her children went to Sun of Prep. And then they moved to Tampa and um, we didn't want to lose them and they didn't want to lose us. So we kind of fast track Sana Prep online um, specifically for her family, who is now in uh, Sefner, Florida, just outside of Tampa. And they've done well. So we have her daughter, Aisha, who's now um, been with us for, for many years now. She was on the ground with us and then she was online with us for a couple of years. And she's going into high school, ninth grade next year as a son of prep online student and her son also who's been with us since pre-K um, is, is, I can't believe I'm saying this is going into middle school now. Noman is going into sixth grade um, and he's been with us for many years on the ground and, and now online for a couple of years and is gonna continue inshallah in son of prep online into middle school. So um, we've always had a keen interest in, in building out kind of Hillsborough County and adding some families because Sister Sadia, who is one of our team members as well and works with us on staff, um, is already there. And so we've had some conversations with the community a year or so ago. Um, it didn't materialize, uh, but we're hoping that in today's meeting, we can talk to you about Son of Prep Online and then also um, what Son of Prep Online could eventually be. If at any point you have a question, we're not gonna wait till the end for question and answers. You can feel free to interrupt me at any time. Just you know, unmute yourself and 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 raise your question. It's no problem at all. I wanted to just give you a little bit of a background of Son of Prep, kind of the origin story a little bit, so you know it's not just something that was done just randomly or just with a good intention alone. A lot of thought, a lot of professional input and and effort has gone into this, and there is a reason why it's still around after thirteen years because there is a business model around it. We want to make it not just scalable, but sustainable. And it is a tuition-based service that goes towards the, the kind of the, the extraordinarily high quality learning coach service that you get. And we'll talk a little bit about what is a learning coach, what would be your role and all of that. Um, before I hand it off to Sister Fariza, and we, we can um, move forward a little bit in this slide, Sister Fariza, so they can see kind of what we're going to be talking about. Um, I will tell you that what Son of Prep Online um, is right now is essentially where you all are already essentially from what I think from the interest form, everyone is homeschooling their families already. So you're very familiar, you are already a learning coach. So you know all that's involved in that regard. And even if you're not, essentially you're a very vested and, and informed parent. And that's the main thing that a learning coach should be in the Senate Prep online model. But what we would do is we would basically onboard your son or your daughter into our curriculum provider that happens to be in Miami-Dade County. You don't have to live in Miami-Dade County to, to use that curriculum and or in, um, in, in our Broward County curriculum provider. Again, you don't have to live in Dade or Broward County to access those curriculums. Those are the curriculum providers that we use. The Broward County um, a version of the curriculum for uh, elementary 
and then um, the Dade County provider for middle school and high school, essentially. Um, and what we would do for you all is essentially onboard you into those uh, programs and then provide the learning coach services. That's just kind of the introduction. I'm gonna hand it off to Sister Frieza to talk a little bit more about our model and about what that means for you. And then I'll come in again a little bit later to talk a little bit more about the sacred sciences and then what we have seen our model uh, is able to offer families and most importantly children uh, in terms of their development and their growth emotionally, uh, socially, spiritually, and, um, and academically. I'll also be very honest with you about some of the limitations that Sana Prep Online might have. And, and, and not that those are insurmountable because the role of the family and the parent can easily um, fill in those gaps that Sana Prep Online has versus our on the ground service. And those are pretty obvious uh, gaps, but they're small and they can be filled um, by the family. And certainly if we have a, a, a co-op of families in Hillsborough County, even more so those gaps can be filled. So we'll talk a little bit about that. But again, I wanna thank you all for joining us today. I'm gonna to hand it off to Sister Frieza. And again, just remind you that if you have any questions, you just feel free to interrupt us as we go through. Um, there's, no, there's no formality here. We wanna make sure that you leave today's meeting with everything that you need to make the best decision for, for your family and your children, inshallah. So um, Sister Frieza, you can talk to each other. Assalamualaikum, everyone. Alaikum, salam. So um, I'll begin by um, talking about our blended learning coach model, which um, is really what makes an ed prep kind of um, very unique um, and what allows us to offer you all um, Senate prep online. So if you were to like search blended learning, there, there's a lot of uh, different uh, definitions out there. Um, and you may have already heard of blended learning. I think um, it's probably a little bit more popular now since the pandemic. Um, but the definition that we like to use and that's related to our model is as follows. Um, blended learning occurs when two or more models of learning integrate, creating a new uh, modality. So it's just basically um, a style of education in which um, students are learning via technology and online resources, as well as traditional face-to-face -face teaching. So for our um, students, our Sunnet Prep students who are on the ground with us, um, they receive web-based instructional content that's delivered by an online curriculum provider, in addition to face-to-face -to -face instruction, um, and guidance and support from a dedicated and trained Senate Prep learning coach. For our Senate Prep online students, they would um, use the you know benefit from the same web-based curriculum and online curriculum provider, as well as the learning coach support. So they would receive the same small group and one-on-one -on -one instruction and support from our learning coaches that our students do on the ground. Um, I do want to mention um, that even though our curriculum is, is delivered online, um, that we're not an online school. <laughs> and um, honestly, even for our Senate Prep online families, um, uh, we, we shouldn't be considered an online school. Um, there are many offline components to our um, students' learning, right? So all of our students receive like um, hard copies of materials, they receive workbooks, they receive um, novels that they read from. from. They um, are expected to do hands-on activities um, in the form of science experiments and art projects. There's also a phys physical education um, component to our students' education as well. So although um, you know, we, we have an online curriculum that we use, um, there are many parts of the day that the student does work offline. Um, I am going to go a little bit um, in more detail later on with how a learning coach works um, with a student and what um, like a day in, in the life of a Sun Prep student may look like um, and what the schedule may look like. But um, I did want to kind of, um, before moving on, maybe stop to ask if there's any questions. Um, you all are welcome to use the chat um, or your mic, whatever you prefer to ask any questions. And even after I move on to the next slide, if something comes to mind, um, 
feel free to, to ask. Um, if not, I'll move on to um, the next kind of point that I want to talk about, which is our district partner um, and the curriculum that we use. So um, I think Brother Ehan mentioned that um, the state of Florida kind of requires every county to offer an online public school option. And what we've done is we've leveraged the resources of the public school and partnered with Miami-Dade um, County. Um, so the, the district partner that we use, their, their name is Miami-Dade Online Academy. So that's the school that all of our students are kind of registered in and they provide the online curriculum. So every Santa Prep student is a public school um, student. And why we use Miami-Dade Online Academy is because this program is offered to anyone that resides in the state of Florida. So if you're a family in Tampa or in Orlando or wherever you are in the state of Florida, you are able to register your student um, in this program and receive um, the public school option. Um, it's, this is what kind of enables um, us to offer Senate Prep online. So if there's a family who's interested in kind of this um, homeschooling idea and they don't live in, um, in, in our um, in, you know, in our vicinity, then you're able to kind of still benefit from Senate Prep and the environment that we offer and the learning coach service that we offer um, because this program is available to anyone in the state. We also have a relationship with them now for um, over a decade um, and they have um, a lot of appreciation um, and respect for the work that we do. We kind of know all of their staff by you know first name. They know all of us by first name. Um, and they're very, um, they're supporters. They're really um, big advocates actually of um, Senate prep and, and what we do for our students. Um, one of the things that um, we really like about uh, Miami-Dade Online as well and this model is that every student has like a team of educators that, that works with them. So in addition to the learning coach that works, um, you know, you know, face to face with students or on the ground with students or in small groups one on one, every student has um, a team of um, certified teachers, uh, state, uh, state uh, certified teachers that works with them in each subject area, right? So like for our middle school students who are taking, you know, whatever eighth grade language arts or, you know, um, physical science, they have a teacher um, in each one of those subject areas that will teach them um, that subject content. And the learning coach is there to provide um, support as well. And then we also have the, um, the staff from Miami-Dade Online Academy. So they have a guidance counselor, a principal, um, and we work basically um, as a team to kind of support um, our students. Um, we also um, use Miami-Dade Online Academy. We've also partnered with them because of the curriculum that they offer, which is Stride K-12. Um, you may or may not um, have heard of Stride K-12, but um, they are the nation's leader in online and blended learning. Um, they have over, over 20 years of experience. So it's not just kind of like um, something that kind of came about um, during the pandemic when a lot of families may have been looking for an online option or a homeschooling option. Um, they've been around for many years. Um, they are fully accredited um, by Cognia. Um, it's a rig rigorous advanced um, curriculum that um, all of our learning coaches are, are trained in as well. So I know I've talked about a lot. I did want to just check in to see if there are any questions. Um, let me see. Okay. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll wait a few seconds just to see if anyone did want to ask anything about the blended learning model or district partner, the curriculum that we use before moving on. I've also um, in the chat invited also for anyone who wants to ask any question there as well. So I'll, I'll continue. Um, I'll continue for now, but there, so there's a few things to, to keep in mind. Um, the, the curriculum that we use and the, the district partner that we use, they are considered a magnet school. 
Um, so there are um, specific requirements that are um, needed to enroll, not just in Senate prep, we have an application process um, that our families go through. Um, I'll explain that a little bit later, but because this is a magnet school, um, there are certain requirements and criteria that any student um, enrolling with us would have to meet. And so, you know, typically students have to kind of um, have an AB average on report cards. Um, students may be asked to, or families will be asked to like um, uh, provide like the last three years of um, report cards or um, if there's any standardized test scores, um, they have to kind of provide that. We have to kind of show that the student is at grade level. Um, and the reason why is because, as I mentioned, it's a, it's a, it's a rigorous uh, curriculum that we use. And so we want to just make sure that we are, um, you know, setting our students up for success and that we are, you know, doing justice by the student. We want to make sure that any student that we are enrolling that, um, that we're not putting them in a position uh, to not do well with us and in this curriculum. Um, Brother Hunt, do you want to talk about um, the kind of new um, requirement that might be in place for Miami-Dade online? Yeah, I can talk about the, the that and I'll also, sorry, am I? Yeah, okay, so I'll talk mm -hmm. about that. I'll also talk about some of the, the limitations that I mentioned or alluded to earlier as well. So part of what, um, Part of why we have our application is so that we can ensure that you know Sun of Prep and Sun of Prep Online are uh, are a good fit for families and most importantly like the student. Um, there are circumstances that are beyond our capacity, um, and we wish we could do more. But we have to be honest. There are some circumstances in which we're we're probably not the best fit. Those are those are circumstances that are kind of unique and specific. Uh, they may be related to, you know, a student or a child that might be somewhere on the autism spectrum or somebody who may um, have a delayed learning um, to a degree that we can't get them caught up to grade um, or something unique in terms of development and, and, and uh, some cognitive impairment. Uh, certainly those would be beyond kind of what we are able to help with for now, we're hoping that we could be a place for every Muslim family and every Muslim student. But at the end, we always want to be very, very honest with the student and, and with their family. Um, so those are circumstances that our application tries to um, kind of kind of preemptively gather that information and just to be able to have that conversation with the family. There are circumstances where we have been willing to work with a student that may have had um, some type of challenges prior to them arriving to us. But those are very unique in that, you know, the family was on the ground here. Uh, the mother was very, very um, much available and a partner in us in helping their student. Um, and there may have may or may not have been additional counseling support that was also recommended and, and taken advantage of. Um, but for Son of Prep Online, because of the lack of accessibility to the student on the ground, some of those types of um, unique circumstances might be a, a barrier to entry for our model. That's why we have our application there. Miami-Dade Online Academy and Broward Virtual as well have their application process for similar reasons. And one of the things that they're trying to do is make sure that a student who comes into their curriculum will be successful. And so the way they do that is if a student is coming from a private or a public school, it's pretty, pretty easy and straightforward in that they will look at previous test scores and previous grades and things like that. Um, and certainly if they're in a public school, probably even easier because they have all that information available to them. Um, in the case that a child is coming as a homeschooled student, uh, like a traditional homeschool student kind of off the grid with the, with the at-home curriculum and all of that, in some cases, they're going to look for the portfolio. They're, in all cases, they're gonna look for the portfolio uh, to, to see that a certified teacher has signed off on the progression of the student year after year, grade, out, grade level after grade level. And then in some cases now as well, they're asking for um, the completion of what's called the Iowa test, which is basically a pretty basic um, general uh, academic test to ensure a student is at, grade, at their respective grade level. Um, this is something that I think they're introducing now for students who are coming as homeschooled students. If 
anyone here is interested in Senate Prep Online and enrolling in Senate Prep Online and is coming as a traditionally homeschooled student, meaning they're not using like FLVS or any other online curriculum provider or something like that, then let us know. And we're going to try to have a conversation with Miami-Dade um, kind of admin um, that we have a good rapport with and see if either A, that requirement can be, um, can be modified so that uh, a family is not does not have to make arrangements to come to Dade County and do that test on site uh, at Miami-Dade Online Academy, which is the current expectation. Um, we want to see if maybe it can be done online, proctored online. We want to see if maybe there is an alternative test that can be done in Hillsborough County, maybe even on the ground at one of the public schools or testing centers there. So we want to see um, if there are families here that are very interested in enrolling how we can make that requirement for um, traditional homeschool families as easy as possible. And so um, again, it would be uh, it would be for you to just follow up with us after this meeting and tell us that you know you're very interested in enrolling. And um, if you have no issue, you know, visiting Miami, making it a, a, a you know a day trip here and visiting downtown and getting that test done and going back home, then it's then that's probably really very straightforward. If there is a challenge for you to be able to accommodate that test, then let us know. And we can try to see if we can work with them to see if another uh, easier accommodation can be made for your family. Um, so that that's that's that. I can talk to you a little bit about um, some of the other uh, some of the other aspects of Senate Prep that um, are unique to Senate Prep Online. I talked to you a little bit about why we have our application process why Dade County has their application process. I'll talk to you a, bit, a little bit about some of the gaps in the Senate Prep Online. In, in part, there is going to be obviously the, uh, the, 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 the lack of them being able to be on the ground with other students in a, in a classroom environment here. The interaction will be as good as possible absent that real time, like in-person interaction. And the way that we go about that is using Google Classroom. And so it's kind of like this, where um, your student will be sitting uh, from their home, um, joining their learning coach online in an online classroom with other students and their learning coach here. And so they'll be as 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 much a participant in the real life teaching in the in in the on the ground teaching that's happening uh, as is possible through the online interface. So Google Classroom is really straightforward. It may be something that they're already familiar with or your family's already familiar with, but it essentially is kind of like this Zoom meeting and it's in real time. It's with the live learning coach here. Other students can also interact with your student at home. Um, there may be other online students in that classroom or even on the ground students in that classroom. And so they're interacting with students online and on the ground and they're interacting in real time with their learning coach online at Senate Prep. Um, and screens can be shared, obviously microphone and video can be two way. Um, and, and, and so it's as much of a real experience as is possible. Uh, if you've seen any students in uh, online college classrooms or things like that, and all of us now are very familiar with kind of online video calls, it's very much like that with the with the learning coach one on one and it's something for example off off meeting you're welcome to follow up with sister sadia she's been managing um sana prep online for for us and for her family um for the past couple of years and so some of the limitations are you know in the event that the internet goes down there's a little bit obviously there is a break right and so there needs to be preparation on the part of the family and the parent at home so that they can fill in that time and make sure that the student is kind of continuing to learn. And that's not that they have to automatically become the learning coach and begin teaching. There will be things that they will have to do and they can do at home independently. It's just a matter of being informed and being prepared to just kind of guide the student forward in those instances. Um, if we have a couple of families in Hillsborough County, then we're very, very excited about the possibility of having meetups. Um, depending on where you all are at geographically in terms of distance, but certainly monthly meetups, we want to help facilitate and set up. So all, our team will help do all of that for you in terms of organization and preparation with your support, obviously. 
we want to try to have you participate in some of the larger field trips that we have as well. So we, we've, we've done one um, to Fort Myers. We've done another to Kennedy Space Center. We may anticipate doing one in the Orlando area this year. This year. Um, and then certainly we have an annual Sanat Prep Village meetup that we do in the winter um, up, in, up in near Jupiter, Hope Sound, Florida. So that's kind of a meeting place for all of our families, those online and those on the ground to meet up as well. So um, the limitations are there, but you can see how we try to mitigate them as well. And then we would provide some training to you to be kind of the learning coach parent at home as well. And then with you all, because you're all in kind of the Hillsborough County uh, vicinity, um, you're at an added advantage because we have Sister Sadia and her family in that same county. And certainly she can be a resource on the ground and an administrative lead. Um, and a liaison between our team here and 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 the families there as well. Um, so I hope that helps. I just want to speak to a little bit about um, um, our application process, Miami Dade Online Academy's application process, including the Iowa test for homeschool families, and then just address some of the limitations that Sun Prep Online Experience has, and and how we try to try to mitigate them. Again, I, I feel like we're, we're just hearing our voice in the room. So I, I get nervous when there's no question. Either we're doing a spectacular job and we're just hitting every ball out of the ballpark home run, or we're doing very, very horrible. And people are, this is a disaster. So please do feel free to ask any questions that you might have. Hopefully we're answering a lot of them and preemptively and that's what's happening. And that's, that's also fine. But if you do have any questions, feel free to unmute and ask them or in the chat. Um, and, and we'll try to answer every question that you might have. Um, uh, Sister Frieza, we could continue. Is this, uh, we've completed the information, I think, on this slide. Yeah, there's, there's just two things that I'll, I'll mention here regarding okay. the district and state requirements. So sure. because all of our students are, are registered public school students, um, we do have to kind of um, go by some of the uh, requirements for promotion. So. Um, our students do participate in um, the state standardized test, which is known as FAST now. Um, that would kind of take place at um, your student's local um, zoned school. Um, and this is what all of our students kind of do um, each year. Um, I'll make a, a, just a quick comment about the state testing. Um, you know, sometimes there can be like a lot of nervousness around having, you know, your child go in for testing and all of that. Um, all of our own children are son ed prep students as well. And so we have those same, um, you know, concerns and, and, um, feelings of nervousness sometimes, but, um, you know, our learning coaches do a really great job. I think of, um, preparing our students for these testing um, requirements that we have and kind of not just preparing them to do well on the test, but like how to approach going into the test so that they're also not having those feelings of nervousness or anxiety. Um, honestly, a lot of our students come out of testing with big smiles on their faces and feeling very good about themselves. And, you know, alhamdulillah, all of our students, you know, from year one have now like passed all of their state, um, uh, state tests as well. Um, so, we do have, you know, to participate in that in addition to like the typical high school um, graduation requirements. So the state of Florida has, you know, a certain amount of credits in high school that are required, certain courses and things that are required. Our students are expected to participate um, in all of those. Um, one of the really great things about um, us using, um, you know, the public school um, offering is that we have these options for advanced academics um, for students who um, are really thriving, who show a lot of motivation, who show that they are um, academically um, uh, doing very well. Um, we have students that um, that are in middle school that are kind of able to take a high school course for high school credit. Um, if that's something that your your child is um, interested in, maybe they are, have been identified as gifted or um, they're kind of just an advanced student who's really motivated to do well. Um, students in middle school um, are able to take uh, certain courses for high school credit um, if they meet the certain criteria. Um, students also have the ability to take honors courses in all of the core subjects from language arts, math, social studies, and, and so forth. 
Um, there's also um, the option for advanced placement, which are like AP classes through the college board um, for college credit, um, as well as dual enrollment. Um, so, you know, one of the really um, interesting things is that for our Sun Ed Prep students that are in high school, um, the dual enrollment option kind of became um, more and more um, uh, prevalent. And so all of our students actually in high school are now taking um, a college course, at least one college course with us. And uh, the two seniors that we just had graduate last year with us were actually enrolled in what's called early college admissions, which is where um, they basically completed all of their high school um, credits and requirements and were able to, um, in their senior year, take a, a full year of college courses um, with us um, and with the support of you know, their high school learning coach and um, within like our Sonnet Prep environment. And so they've graduated um, high school with one year of college already completed. Um, and I think for some of our students, we're on track to have them graduate um, high school uh, with an AA degree. So with two years of um, college, inshallah. So these are kind of some of the advanced um, academic offerings that um, are available to um, students who are interested and uh, motivated uh, to kind of excel. Um, we can move into the, the standard and, and uh, sacred sciences, kind of what that is. And um, I'll let Brother sure. Rehan talk about yeah, so we've kind of um, grouped our subjects into these kind of subject headings here. Standard sciences, just understand that to mean the 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 English, math, science, social studies, and all that. Essentially, what we're going to be getting from the curriculum provider, um, in this case, K twelve uh, K twelve's curriculum um, provided to us through through Dade County, um, and so that would be the standard sciences again, fully accredited curriculum overseen by certifi certified teachers online and then our learning coaches on the ground. Um, they'll, they'll get both a hard copy of their material and online. Um, and in some cases it may just be offline material. And in some cases it might, it might just be online uh, material, especially in the case of high school students. Um, in our sacred sciences, we have uh, two core subject areas, Quran and the Islamic studies, which is a kind of a general term for um, studies in Aqidah, Fiqh, and uh, Sira, not necessarily using a specific, uh, you know, book uh, for each of those, but using, generally, we're using Safar publications, and maybe for the older students, we might go into the Arba'in of Imam Nawawi, or using the Shema'il of Imam At-Tirmidhi for Sira, um, and things like that. Um, Having said that, we for Sana Prep Online are open to providing two options. One is the standard sciences only option, which should be a, a day that would essentially go from approximately 8.30 to 2 p.m., which is where we have the standard sciences. And there will be a, a slide that will go through the, the schedule as well later. But so basically the, the first two thirds of the school day, um, is allocated to the standard sciences. Um, and then after Dhuhr, we have our sacred sciences uh, curriculum with Quran being Monday through Thursday and Islamic studies being um, generally on Tuesday and Wednesday uh, or Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, we have PE here on the ground um, and students online are expected to have their own recess at home on Monday and Wednesdays. Obviously, they could have it more than that as well, but those are the, 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 the times that we have allocated for that. So if you're just doing the standard sciences, we'll talk a little bit more in detail about tuition and all of that. That would be obviously a kind of a prorated tuition. It wouldn't be our for our full curriculum on the ground. Um, and then there is also an option for you to consider to do the sacred sciences. Um, so it'd be kind of Sana Prep Online Plus, uh, for lack of a better word. Um, and in that, you know, you could consider adding the Quran and the Islamic studies as well. Um, and again, it, it would also be slightly less than our on the ground tuition here, because you all are taking on the responsibility for the prayer, uh, the Dohar prayer, um, obviously, you know, accommodating lunch and then a recess as well. And so we try to we try to acknowledge that 
um, and, and, and have the tuition reflect that. So Sirathika will talk a little bit more about those things uh, later on in the presentation. But um, again, I hope this all helps. Um, the only thing that I'll add is that when and if you do enroll in our program and when we enroll you into the county program, you will receive all of these materials to your home. You will get like a couple of boxes or one large box with all of the materials that you might need. The last thing that I'll mention, and I don't want it to be a deal breaker per se, is that we, we believe that the students who are best suited for Senate Prep online are in our experience, generally going to be middle school and up. So sixth grade and up. Now I know that there's some interest for students in younger grades. So that's why I'm saying this is not necessarily a deal breaker, but I wanna be honest with you. What we, why we are uh, inclined towards offering it for middle school and up is because we did an after school program during the pandemic years. And what we found is that for the youngest students, uh, certainly kindergarten first and second, it's a big, big challenge um, and probably an unsurmountable challenge to make the learning experience as robust and um, as they need at that age. Um, there is the potential for third, fourth, and fifth grade to be considered in unique circumstances. The students have to be you know, relatively mature. We don't need them to be college level mature for sure, but just kind of organized behavior has to be, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, a well-behaved student, a student that has a parent at home for sure, um, and a student that has um, maybe some previous experience in an online curriculum or an online program. Um, those are all things that help. But again, for us, it's easy to say that we'll take every student and we can just kind of charge families tuition. But we have always led by what is in the best interest of the student and the family. And so certainly kindergarten first and second, it, is, it would not be a, a, a probably a great fit for the student and or for our program and our model. Um, and that goes for any really, any, any online um, schooling option for that age is gonna have its limitations. It, with the exception is if there is a, a mom or a dad who's just committed almost full time to their child's education and working with an online curriculum provider. Um, absent that, then I think that elementary poses some challenges. So right now, our, our specific kind of outreach is for middle school and high school. Having said that, after today's meeting, if you have a student in third, fourth, or fifth grade, you can approach us and we can have that conversation. And, and if there's you know that criterion, like I said, previous exposure, um, you know, good behavior, no, uh, no learning, um, you know, issues or challenges or anything like that, then, then certainly it's an, it's a viable, it could be a viable option as well. Um, Bismillah, we can continue, Sister Reza. Just one second. Okay. Um, so this is a, a sample um, schedule for what the date would look like. Um, do you want to talk about morning assembly and then I can move into like what the standard sciences looks like? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, the morning assembly is where we start our day. We, we have students gather in the morning here. We have our online students to join that as well. Um, at home, if they're at home, they should pray Salat al-Duha and then join the morning assembly if time permits. Otherwise, when they join the morning assembly, we'll make our intention to begin our school day and then have a small reminder um, uh, where we talk about a variety of different things from Sira to science to just how, what their weekend was like and maybe something that the students want to share as well. Um, we'll have a day uh, for them um, to do student-led assembly as well. Um, and then on Fridays, we'll try to read a portion of Surah Kahf as well. And then we just try to end that 15 to 20 minute morning assembly period with kind of our, our salams. And then um, uh, and then we start our school day with their respective learning coaches in their classrooms on the ground and online. Um, and then Fariza, I can go through the rest as well. It's pretty straightforward. Sure. You can see the schedule there. We kind of have a yeah. block uh, for the standard sciences where we will begin with the math, science, English, history component of the day have a, a, usually a 10 to 15 minute break in between, just kind of a snack break, stretch break, 
And then we'll have another break for lunch at that time that you see there, 1230 to one. And then we kind of have the second half of the standard sciences where we go until from one to 230 and then take a pause for the her prayer at 230. And then the last part of our day, um, the last kind of hour and a half or so is for um, Islamic studies. Um, there's it, it, some timings that are going to change here. I think this is from our, our previous presentation. So, but generally that's what you'll see uh, as our day. But uh, the, the main difference is that we'll start at 8.30 and at 3.30, uh, basically. Um, and then you'll see on Tuesday and Thursday, we have a, a period for PE where Santa Prep online students are expected to do that at home. Or in the event that we have a couple of families gathering together, they can maybe meet up at a park and do something like that as well. Um, if anything, I missed uh, Sister Frizi can add. Yeah. Sure. Um, I just want to check in to see if maybe there are any questions about the schedule or. Yeah, you know, Sister um, Lugna dropped off. I don't know if she had just um, a lower elementary or not, but Sister Sadi, you can certainly follow up on that if they're on a group, if you're on a group chat with them. Um, I don't know if the connection dropped or maybe they just had kindergarten for second grade students. I don't know. But if they do have third, fourth or fifth, you can let them know that that's a consideration certainly for us to have um, if they're keenly interested in Santa Prep online. Um, and shall we can have that conversation. Um, uh, Sister Adiola, is, do you have any questions or any comments or any anything that we you would like us to address that we may have missed? You could let us know on mic or you can certainly let us know in the chat. Inshallah. Um, if there is, just feel free to interrupt us as we kind of go forward. Uh, we're, we're on the last slide here as well. So if, you, if anyone does have a question, this is the time to ask. But uh, Atika, maybe you can speak to uh, the tuition and the, uh, and the offering. I know I already mentioned that standard sciences alone is an option and then standard sciences plus. And I know that you and I talked before the meeting about having that conversation one-on-one -on -one with families, but maybe generally um, you can offer at least the standard sciences tuition. Yeah, absolutely. Assalamu alaikum. Um, so um, just very briefly, um, the tuition for um, Sanat Prab, um, a full-time program in, that is on site is $500 per month. Um, per child, we have 5% discount, um, sibling discount. Um, obviously, um, in this situation, um, if you were, if a family was to consider just the standard sciences, we would prorate the, the tuition, uh, which would cover just the standard sciences hours, which would be from basically morning assembly, which is around 8.45 a.m. to 2 p.m., um, which is when we break for the her when standard sciences end. And um, that cost would be $350. Um, per student um, per month. And of course, we have the 5% discount um, for families as well. Um, so if you have um, a second child, a third child, they would be respectively given a 5% discount. Um, now, in the situation that a family would like to opt in into a um, just perhaps the Quranic um, it's a possibility the family is not interested in all of the sacred sciences. Um, we have um, sacred sciences is split into two. We have um, Quran, which goes from Monday through Thursday for about 45 minutes, right after Salah from 2.15 to about 3 p.m. or 2.55 p.m. Um, that would be um, Monday through Thursday. Now, if a family is just interested in a Quran option because for whatever reason, if they don't have a local option to have your child be a part of the Quran program locally with a local teacher, which is what we always encourage actually for sacred sciences. If that option is not available, of course, um, students have the option of opting in and, and joining Sanat Prep students um, and our teachers online, in which case we will have to then prorate the tuition. And um, again, depending on the number of hours, the tuition will increase. Um, I didn't come up with specific numbers for that. As you can imagine, it, it kind of gets a little bit complicated after this point um, because of the number of hours. Is it just one child? Is it two children? Is it three children? So if you are interested in opting in into just the Quran program or just the sacred sciences program or sacred sciences or and Quran together, then it's a simple math. It would be the same thing as the on-site tuition. But if you do have the, if if you are interested in opting into just the Quran program or just the sacred sciences, um, after the meeting, please feel free to um, 
email your questions to me. Uh, my email address, if um, one of my colleagues can drop it in the chat, that would be wonderful. It's my first name, Atika at Sanatrust.org. Um, you're more than uh, welcome to contact me uh, with your specific questions, inshallah. So again, I'm just going to repeat myself. For standard sciences only, the monthly tuition would be $350 per month per child. We do offer um, an option for families to pay over a 12-month cycle as well. Um, that's just to help families kind of um, uh, reduce their monthly rate. And if you were to choose that option, then your 12 month um, per cycle rate would be $291.67. So um, we do have a recording available as well. So if anybody um, want, forgot that number and want to go back and look at it, you absolutely can. Um, in any case, if you have any other questions, um, my email address is right there for you. Thank you so much, Farisa. You guys are more than welcome to reach out to me. Um, I think that was it. Um, actually forgot one thing. We do have a one-time fee, um, registration fee, that basically helps us cover registration costs. That's just paid once a year um, in the beginning of the year, and the cost is $150. So I think that's it for me. Those are the only things I had to mention. I'll hand it off to Sister Fraser, I believe, or Rahan. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll just briefly go over um, the Senate Prep admissions process if you are interested. Um, uh, in, in exploring Senate Prep online for your for your student, um, we would definitely recommend um, just starting the application um, process. To, filling out our application doesn't um, guarantee admission. It's just kind of the first step um, in the process. Um, and we do have a very uh, kind of strict deadline that we work with. So because we, um, all of our students, um, have to go uh, through the application process, our application process, and the di our district partners as well. Um, we kind of have to work within a certain timeline, um, and so uh, they have a very our, our the district that we work with, Miami Dade Online Academy, has a very strict deadline that takes place mid July, which is about two to three weeks away um, right now, and so. What we are asking uh, families to do is if you are interested um, in kind of exploring this option for your student, I would recommend that you fill out our application um, by the end of this week. Okay, and that would give us enough time to process your application and kind of go through the next steps, which you'll see here. Um, we like to have like an interview meeting with the family and student to kind of make sure it's a good fit um, for the student and for Senate Prep. Um, and then there's like a, within a day or two, you'll receive an answer from us and ad, um, admissions offer letter. Um, and once you accept the admissions um, and make the, the payment of the one-time fees, there's some enrollment forms that we'll ask you to complete. And then we will help you through every step of the way with enrolling your um, child in the district program. So we're here to help um, through that uh, process as well. It's not something that you would need to do entirely on your own. Um, and then, of course, once that's completed, um, I will send you an enrollment package, which basically uh, outlines all of the policies and procedures and all of the information that you kind of need to know uh, related to Senate prep. And then um, before the start of school, which is around mid-August, we'll hold a parent orientation as well. So that's kind of just a brief outline of our admissions process. I think the link um, to apply um, was in the chat as well. Um, and I think that that's it. I don't know if there's any questions. <laughs> yeah, you can go to the last screen. I'll, I can wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, I've messaged Sister Adiola as well. If she has any questions, she can ask. Mm -hmm. um, but if, if there are no questions, then I'll just kind of conclude by saying that the hope is that um, if we are able to um, add uh, a couple of families in Hillsborough County that the eventual outcome of that, if not this year, certainly um, by next year, can have something on the ground there and have a Senate prep uh, kind of in Tampa. And so hopefully if there are some families that can join as part of Senate prep online, that can be um, momentum, momentum building towards the idea of having a Senate prep on the ground there in Tampa. And so inshallah, you know, for anyone on, on today's call, or if this meet, if this uh, video and this recording is shared, anybody who is in um, Hillsborough County, 
um, can give that some consideration as well, that if there are a couple of families that get together and join Senate Prep online this year, then certainly we can build some momentum towards having a Senate Prep in Tampa uh, on the ground to have uh, for those students and those families on the ground there. So that's something to consider, something to have a conversation about with other like-minded families. Um, and in your 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 respective kind of homeschooling group chats and conversations that you have with families in the community there, that that is a very real possibility, inshallah, for next fall, if we're able to build momentum towards that this fall, inshallah. So, and if there's any more questions regarding that, um, that possibility and or anything in between, you're always welcome to uh, reach out to us, inshallah, and, and ask any questions that you might have. Um, I think we've covered everything, Sister Frieza. I'm sure that there may be some things that we didn't cover. Um, I don't know if there are, Sister Ariola has not asked any questions. So if she does have any questions, she can ask now or um, just follow up with us afterwards by reaching out to Sister Sadia or anybody else. So um, if there are no questions, I just want to confirm there are none. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and then... Um, and then we could we could end the presentation there. Sister Dika, Sister Frieza, is that okay? Okay, so I'll go ahead and stop the recording here, inshallah.